Welcome to the She Is Podcast, where we are encouraging and equipping women to be confident in God's promises. I'm Jamie. I'm Sherry. I'm Nicole. We are women in different ages and stages of life. We are active in ministry and are here to have a Bible-based conversation about our identity in Christ. So get ready to be encouraged and equipped as we share with you today. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the She Is podcast. We are so glad to be uh, with you again this week. And I want to welcome Christina back to our group again Yay! for our discussion. <laughs> so, yes, we are just ready to go. So, uh, I think let's let's have a let's let's start out with some prayer and then I'll I'll get us going into our podcast today, okay? okay? So Sherry, could you pray for us? I would love to. Lord, thank you for this time together. Thank you for your word, Lord, that it just um it holds such value to our lives, Lord. We just thank you for uh, your correction, your love, your explanation. Father, we just pray right now that what Jamie has brought uh, just seeps deep into our hearts and it gives us an understanding that maybe we didn't have before and it helps us with our daily lives and and just draws us closer to you, Lord. And so, um, Father, we just, we adore you and we love you and we give this time to you and uh, we just... We thank you, Lord. Thank you so much for what you allow us to do and to be a part of, to be your hands and feet. And so, Lord, um, just uh, we invite you into this podcast so mm-hmm. that um, your will will be done and your mm-hmm. conversation will be had. So, Lord, uh, thank you again. We love you and adore you. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Awesome. Well, um, this, I feel like this topic has been like a long time in the making. It's um, something that we kind of discussed um, as we were first planning out um, yeah. this podcast and uh, wanting to uh, decide on some topics that we wanted to share with um, all of our listeners. And um, it was something that we had hoped to do around Mother's Day and then yes. ended up not getting to meet and record. Mm-hmm. And so it, this is going to be a little bit of a different episode today. Mm-hmm. Um, we had some things in mind um, for around Mother's Day, um, particularly speaking to mothers um, and just women in all walks of life that just deal with things, right? Yes. And it's just, <laughs> yes. just wanted to have, we just wanted to have some open discussions about some of the things that we deal with as moms, as wives, as just women in the workplace. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. And how we, how we just do, do life as a Christian in all those circumstances. Mm -hmm. And, um, so in that, uh, we've kind of just have a different kind of format today. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to start off with some, um, scriptures I want to share. And, um, each of the ladies also has scriptures. And as we were meeting, together um, in preparation for this podcast, it really, it didn't seem like separate topics for us all to cover. It really is just going to be one discussion and mm-hmm. every everyone here sitting around me has mm-hmm. something um, insightful to share. And so we'll just see how that kind of comes up in our, mm-hmm. in our conversations. Um, sorry to let the cat out of the bag. This is not extremely <laughs> prepared. <laughs> right. We, right. We, we come together with ideas and with our scriptures and we just want to talk. We mm-hmm. just want to have yes. honest conversations and ask honest questions. Mm-hmm. and just hear from each other's hearts and um, share some insights with you. So yes. that's that's what, how we're coming mm-hmm. to you today. Mm-hmm. Um, so if it sounds a little bit different than what we've done before, it's because it is. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so yeah, we're going to be talking about balance today. We're going to mm. talk about how, how do we balance different things in life Mm, and um not necessarily this isn't going to be like a how-to episode it's just Mm. how how do you do (laughs) (laughs) i love that (laughs) (laughs) jamie okay that's so funny thanks for bearing with me (laughs) as you can see this has been a journey (laughs) Um, so yeah just to start out um 
Sorry, ladies, and this isn't printed <laughs> off, so you'll just have to read off my phone with me. But my my first <laughs> verse today is from Psalms sixty eight nineteen, and it says, "Praise be to the Lord, to God our Savior, who daily bears our burdens." Mm. Mm. That's good. So That's good. just right off the bat, anything <laughs> daily, right? Mm. Daily, it's not like once a week or when I feel like it. Daily, yeah. Mm. Daily, and you know, and I mean, for me, sometimes it it's minute by minute mm-hmm. during yeah. that day. Yeah. I mean, that's that that's a statement. What you read there, that's mm-hmm. a statement, and I think that I have taken it for granted. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that's so important to remember because I feel like. Um, we get so bogged down and we can get very overwhelmed very quickly. Mm-hmm. And I think also, like, as women, we our brains never shut off. <laughs> right. And that can be really hard because you're, like, constantly thinking ahead. Okay, I need to go pack the kids' lunch for school and I need to take them here. Oh, and then I also... And mm-hmm. it's a constant just whirling in your head. Yes. And I think part of releasing your burdens to the Lord is also releasing the burdens of your thoughts to Him. Oh, yes. And allowing Him to just bring rest and peace to your mind Mm -hmm. because that's a huge Mm -hmm. thing that can be very overwhelming yes awesome absolutely Mm -hmm. I agree (laughs) <laughs> that's good I really I really liked um, that word daily he mm-hmm. daily bears our burdens um, and that just makes me think of all the little things that mm. he cares about yes you know it's not um, it's not the just the big stuff he mm-hmm. he cares about the little stuff I feel like we just talked about this last yes, year. <laughs> but, but it's, it, yeah it's true it's that he he's there for us mm-hmm. daily he's mm-hmm. always there mm-hmm. and and we praise him for that yes. we thank him for yes. providing that covering for us um, mm-hmm. that he's he's got our back yes mm-hmm. he's got He's got that load on our back. (laughs) Awesome. So uh, along with that, um, I was just thinking about um, how God bears our burdens. Mm -hmm. Um, But I was just just thinking about different different things in life and different things that I have carried. Um, I I was thinking about the verse in uh, Galatians 6-2 that says, share each other's burdens, and in Mm -hmm. this way, obey the law of Christ. And I thought that was interesting. I was trying to reconcile these two verses because, you know, one says that God bears our burdens, Mm -hmm. and then in Galatians it says that we need to bear each other's burdens. Mm -hmm. And so... I, I believe that both of these are right. Yes. yes <laughs> but I it's agree. just, it's kind yeah. of difficult yeah. to see that right. duality. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Particularly, I was I was thinking about um, a, a time in my life where I was really um, bearing burdens of, of loved ones. Um, some close friends of ours were going through some really hard times in their marriage and you know, we were trying to walk with them through it, but I, I wore that and it was mm-hmm. heavy. Mm-hmm. It was yeah. a burden. Mm-hmm. And That's I, hard. you know, yeah. for a time, you know, that, that was my job to bear that. But the longer, right. The longer right. you, you bear, bear that burden, you think about, I'm just, I'm just gonna move right along to the next <laughs> verse I have here. Matthew eleven thirty says, my yoke is easy to bear and right. the burden I yeah. give you is light. Mm-hmm. And so when you're bearing a burden that is heavy, yes. God says that's not yours. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. I, I don't yeah. know. What do yeah. you guys think about that? Hmm. I also have not, um, not questioned, like you said, they're both correct. Yeah. But how are they, how can they both be correct? Right? Mm. So, like you said, God bears our burden. So, so is it that he bears my burden and then Christina comes along and I pray with her and now I've taken on her burden. So then... If I do it right, if I take it to the altar, does that mean now he's bearing both of those? I think mm-hmm. so. I, would, I think so. I would say yes. 
Yeah. Yeah. So is is that how the transfer mm-hmm. happens? I mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah. But I too have carried something longer counseling women. The one that gets me is when I counsel young girls. Mm-hmm. And I carry that and and my husband has to because he'll see cuz mm-hmm. my countenance mm-hmm. will change and I'll I'll be sad a lot and mm-hmm. he'll say you need to take that to the altar. I don't know what it is, but you got to go get rid of that. Mm-hmm. 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 And so, so I I do wonder how how is that? How can I carry your burden, help you? Mm-hmm. Because right, isn't that a, I'm helping you to carry your burden? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that it's not so heavy. But then he's carrying it for us. So I I'm with you. I don't. Mm-hmm. I don't know how to explain that. Mm-hmm. I just know how I think I understand it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, and I'm wondering if, in a way, you know, we help bear each other's burdens, mm-hmm. and maybe someone who's more mature in the faith or whatever, mm-hmm. like you, Sherry, like I really look up to you, and you're amazing. And oh. so I learned from you how I, I watch you bearing a burden and giving it to the Lord. And then I'm like, oh, okay, so that's how I'm supposed to release my burden to the Lord. Oh. So we help oh. each other bear mm-hmm. a burden, and then you're like, okay, so this is how you're supposed to release it to the Lord. And we kind of, oh. I don't know. Mm-hmm. That's just a thought. That that's good. That a good thought. So we're learning from one another. Yeah. Well, I think also with that, I mean, there's a part of you, there's a part of that burden that still stays with you. Mm-hmm. Not like yeah. a weight, but it's a care. Oh, that's mm-hmm. a good word. And so not a burden, but a care. Yeah, it's not that it weighs you down, but mm-hmm. it's just it reminds you to mm-hmm. pray. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's uh, good. To like be that. empathetic, compassionate. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. compassionate to people. Mm-hmm. So maybe, mm-hmm. maybe what we're bearing is not the weight, but the compassion oh, for a person. That's really good. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Like that makes that. sense. Yeah. So that makes me wonder other translations of that scripture. Ooh, yeah. Which one? Uh, of the um, carrying each other's burdens, and and it probably says it probably doesn't well, matter what translation we're in, you know, because my brain, I'm I'm a a word study fanatic. Sure. And I, because I want to know the Lord's word and where it originated from, Greek, yeah. Hebrew, mm-hmm. whatever, because we use words daily that are not being used the way they were intended. <laughs> and so, I, and so, when I was first learning to read the Bible, I did a ton of word study mm-hmm. so that I would know for sure what that word meant in its or, original verbiage yeah. contents. And and so um, so in stuff like that that I'm just not sure how to explain it or how to understand it. I, I look at several translations to see if any of the words are different, and then I study those to see how it compares. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. I don't want to take it out of context. Not yeah. that I mean our discussion I don't think is out of context at all. Mm-hmm. It's just for me. How do I have more clarity? Mm. Yeah. So the context yeah. of this particular verse, and I had actually um, originally intended to share all of this, and then Ooh. I kind of <laughs> narrowed it down. But just for context's sake and maybe discussion's sake, um, I'll read verses. So this is from Galatians 6. I'll read verse 1 through 3, um, and this is from the NIV. Uh, Brothers and sisters, if someone is caught in a sin, You who live by the Spirit should restore that person gently, but watch yourselves, or you may also be tempted. Mm -hmm. Carry each other's burdens, and in this way you Mm -hmm. will fulfill the law of Christ. If anyone thinks they are something when they are not, they deceive themselves. Wow. Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. Hmm. So... I have a hard time putting into words new insight from that, but (laughs) my brain is like, no. (laughs) (laughs) It's exactly what my brain is doing. It's just, it's different. It it takes it deeper and it's about, um, it's about restoring people, um, back into uh, Mm a relationship with the Lord. But it does give us a warning to not, not go too far with them, not, 
uh, be in it with them, right? Yeah. Um, right. Well, it says it's it says yeah, if anyone something. thinks they are something when they're not, they deceive themselves. Um, yeah, it kind of this is deep. If um, I mean, every I encourage everyone to read this full chapter because yes. there's definitely a lot a lot to it. Mm-hmm. Um, and it, yeah, it's it's good stuff, but it's deep. I mean, this is gosh, we could do just weeks <laughs> on burden, right? Yeah, and, and, it because is. It yeah. is. But it, it's a it's a good it's a good study because right now there's a lot of burden. Yeah, there's a lot, and how do we carry that? And how do we carry it properly? I mean, I part of me is like, did we just get off track from your balance? But I don't think so. I think it's in there, and that's funny because when I was preparing, mm-hmm. I'm like, you know, I know it's not exactly on topic, but, but it, it is. But it is. But it is yeah. because how do you balance? You know, we've got the news talking well, I feel to that, us. Well, and this is what women do too. Yes. I feel like this is yes a very not. I mean, obviously, this applies to everybody, everyone. But we we like to care for people and yes and take take care of them mm-hmm. and do what we can to help. See, and, and, and just like you're saying, men do it too. Yes. They just mm-hmm. do it differently because the Lord created us differently. Yeah. Exactly. So the way they carry a burden is different than the way we carry a burden. It's not wrong. It's just different. Mm-hmm. And we can't yeah. compare them. No. They, right. we, because we, we need it all. We need exactly. it all. Yes. And so, so I... I think you're really onto something with this, Jamie, because we, and sometimes I, what just came to mind is sometimes we minimize the burden. Hmm. We're hmm. like, you know, it's really okay. It, it's not that big a deal. And I'm sitting here thinking, oh, that, that's devastating. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'm, I'm watching their countenance. It's like, it's devastating to them too, but they, they don't want to show that, mm-hmm. I guess. Well, mm-hmm. and here's here's the thing too, and this this is this is something that I've been dealing with f- for years. Is just <laughs> realize that, like I'm a very independent person, and mm-hmm. I feel mm-hmm. like if I have to ask for help, right, I am mm-hmm. not fully trained. Like right. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not a, f- a fully trained adult or something. Like, if I have to ask for help on something, right. it shows yeah. weakness. Mm. Right. Um, but but we're meant to. Mm. And it's yeah. almost like we have to come together yes. and help each other out. Because, mm-hmm. um, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. yeah, there's a lot in this um, in this chapter about about your pride too and comparing yourself to other people right Right. um and and then it says for each one should carry their own load so it's not saying dump your stuff on everybody else it's saying let's all lift this together Mm -hmm. by the grace of god Mm -hmm. yes yes that's good Mm -hmm. wow yes um i wanted to um i was reminded real quick um just getting back to balance Mm -hmm. um Sherry had um, written down the uh, definition of balance, um, mm. and we Ooh, discussed it real quick before we um, we started recording. But I want to get into this a little bit. Yeah, this is good. This, this is, is good. Is, <laughs> the, you're really onto something, and I I really appreciate that. I appreciate this word because, well, for a lot of reasons. But <laughs> I'm I'm dealing with some stuff that I need. I need this. So. Um, What is the definition of balance? It is the ability to move or to remain in a position without losing control or falling, Mm -hmm. which we knew that Mm -hmm. one. That one's a given. Mm -hmm. It's also a state in which different things occur in equal or proper amounts or have an equal or proper amount of importance. Mm -hmm. And so that's That's where... That's where we're coming into this as as women needing uh, to huh? balance things because we all have um, different things in in our backpacks, right? That we yes. carry around <laughs> yes. all day long. Yes. Um, and I was thinking about balance, you know, with weight on a scale and, mm-hmm, and stuff. Mm-hmm. And it's like you think that, you know, to balance, both sides have to be equal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But that's, 
you have to manipulate things in order to mm-hmm. to make them equal right and mm-hmm. like for instance i uh, here are just some of the things that um that we try and balance in our lives god like our relationship with god um, our family our friends neighbors obligations uh for instance things that we have said yes to or things Mm. that are just expected of us and desires things that we want to do or have but have not made a commitment to yet wow okay so those are just some real quick examples of things small amount of yes yeah Yeah. Mm -hmm. obviously not all of those things should get equal attention from us Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah right I mean, so if you're picturing, and this is what, you know, I think all the self-help courses and stuff teach you, is that it's like a bicycle wheel, and each spoke, you know, needs to be equal, Mm -hmm. or you're Mm -hmm. out of balance. But not all, God is not carrying the same weight in my life, like Mm priority-wise, balance-wise, as as my um, desire to go on vacation next month, you know? Right. These are not equal things. I'm not going to treat them equally because they're not. Right. You know, my desire to spend good quality time with my family is not, does not bear the same weight on me as my desire to know the names of my neighbors. (laughs) Right. 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 They're, yes, they're, exactly. We cannot place equal importance on every aspect of our life. Right. But we need to manage them in a certain way mm-hmm. so that we can remain balanced. Mm-hmm. It's not so much the stuff being balanced, it's us being balanced right. with all the things right. that we need to handle, right? Right. And right. so That's really good. I was um I was just sharing uh before about this is that m- like my s- sense of balance when I get out of my car and I have a bunch of stuff, mm-hmm. I will put everything I can in one <laughs> hand yep. so that I can close the door and lock my car with my other hand. So one arm is completely loaded up with my purse and my gym bag and whatever, and my drink sometimes, <laughs> right. maybe two right. drinks, I don't know, you know, I've got my coffee and my ice water, and all this so I can manage my keys with my right hand. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. These things are not equal in volume or importance or the amount of space that they take up in my hands Mm -hmm. but I have manipulated what I have to carry in a certain Mm -hmm. way so that I can be the most effective Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. that's just Mm -hmm. a simple example of you know how are we handling the different things in our life what kind of importance are is do we place on all these things right um and that's what we need to look at Mm -hmm. if it's out of balance you know, mm-hmm. sometimes yeah. I'm sure we all have this like mental image of what is possibly taking the most like weight yes. <laughs> of our priorities right now. Yes. And is that in balance with everything else? Not mm-hmm. equal to, but I mean, is there a good balance here? Right. I'm glad you said that about equal because I have, I don't like the word balance when people are saying, oh, you have to get your life in balance and everything <laughs> because I was thinking, okay, then it has to be in perfect balance. And everything has to be equal. Mm -hmm. And to me, I'm like, that's impossible. Because Mm -hmm. our life is an ebb and flow. And sometimes Mm -hmm. one week is busier than the other. And you have to juggle these things and move your schedule around. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I'm a person who loves to plan. And (laughs) have a schedule (laughs) by the minute for my day. And like, okay, this is what I have to do to accomplish what I need to do. Right. And it drives me crazy. Because every (laughs) week it's different. And every day it's like... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> right. So I'm really glad you said that. Like, these things don't have to be equal. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. That just helps me. I, that's what I got out of that. Yes. So, so, <laughs> so um, for those of you that know my testimony, so my my daughter, um, there was a point in time when I didn't have her very much. Mm-hmm. I only had her part of the time, once in a while. And at that time, I, well, I'm still a control freak, and I'm still a <laughs> perfectionist. The Lord's are working. I'm working closely with the Lord on these things. But at the time, what I knew to be a good wife and mother, which I was doing my best, mm-hmm. but my mom was a clean freak. 
she could tell you when a dust thingy hit the counter and she I mean you know it was just like oh dust I gotta go clean it you know mm. and that's what I was raised in so that's what I knew so now here I'm I'm trying to be this good mom but then all of a sudden I don't have her very often mm. so I'm being this perfectionist I'm doing my dishes I've got my laundry I've got all this stuff happening and then I get my daughter for an afternoon or, yay, I got her for a whole day or weekend. And yet I I was crushed because I was torn. Mm-hmm. I have dishes to do. I have laundry to do. I got to sweep and mop. But my daughter's only here this amount of time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Talk about balance and talk about the Lord needing to shift some stuff in me. Because now where's my priority? Mm-hmm. Is my priority the dishes? Or is my priority my daughter and however much time I have? Because those dishes can wait four hours, mm-hmm. but can my daughter? Mm-hmm. That's, That's really good. good. Can, you know, can mm-hmm. our husband, can our, can our, you know, whatever mm-hmm. it is. And I, I think that's, what we need to learn to balance. And mm-hmm. it's not going to be perfect. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's no way it can be perfect. And and I really I really struggled with that. And there were times I'm like, come help mom do the dishes. And I'm like, this is not what I want to be doing with my daughter for the short period of time I have her. I, yeah. I just don't. So I I needed to really Seek the okay. So what? What am I supposed to be here? Mm-hmm. What? Where's my priority? What's the most important? And for me, what are people going to think mm-hmm. <laughs> if my mom comes into my house right now and the dishes are all in the sink? <laughs> is she gonna go? There's dishes in your sink, or is she gonna go? Oh, look! You've been playing a game, mm-hmm. right? That's good. And we wonder about that, and what are people going to think? If they come into my house and it's not clean, what will they think? Mm -hmm. Well, now I'm at a point that I hope and I pray Mm -hmm. that they come to my house and they feel God. Mm -hmm. My house may not be clean. I mean, you're not going to stand on newspapers and stuff on the floor, <laughs> and there's no food. The dishes maybe lasted overnight, but but is that really what we're putting our importance on? Mm-hmm. And we don't invite people over because they might see something that's messy, and then they'll judge us, and then they'll... So where's the balance? Mm-hmm. Hmm. It's a very good question. Where's the balance? And what do I what do I want people to know about me? Hmm. And do I want my children to grow up? I grew up going, my mom didn't know the clothes I wore or the friends I had, but she could tell you what was dirty. Hmm. Hmm. Where 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 do we want to be on that spectrum? What kind of woman of God do we want to be? Hmm. And is that pleasing people or is that pleasing God? Hmm. And where are this Where's the priority? Did you, did you ever get to the, to the place where you could like <laughs> yes. relax and <laughs> yes, figured that out? <laughs> it, it took me. I was just learning who I am with the Lord too. I was just, just learning that I'm a child of God and learning to read my Bible and. Not thinking about it, but Hebrews 4, 1 through 13 always came. And the Psalm 46, 10, be still and know that I am God. It's finding rest in him and knowing that I'm doing my best with what I know right now. And I'm learning and growing. And I did. It didn't, it didn't take long because I was very sad not being able to spend time with my daughter. And... And so it didn't take long for me to go, you know what? 
those dishes <laughs> have no bearing on me at all. And, oh, the floor needs mopped. Well, we're just going to walk on it again, and it'll need mopped again in a few minutes. So it's really going to be okay. <laughs> and and sometimes I joke now that I've I've gone completely off the other end. <laughs> that I'm just like, you know, it, it's more important to spend time with my family because I don't know how long I have. Mm. We are not guaranteed. Mm. But if I spend, I mean, uh, balance. Mm-hmm. I need to spend good quality time with my family, and I need to spend good quality time stewarding what the Lord has given me. Mm-hmm. But they don't weigh the same. That's good. My yeah. family weighs a lot. Mm-hmm. In a good way. In a very good way. <laughs> yes. In a very good way. Not in a chubby way or anything. <laughs> but my house, it really, it really doesn't. It, yeah. it doesn't even begin to measure. Mm-hmm. And so I've kind of gotten us on a... But that's what I was thinking, is, and that's where the Lord took me was, that was my hardest decision. Do I spend time with my daughter or do I clean my house? And if I don't do this one right, people are going to criticize me here. But if I don't do this one right, not only are people going to criticize me, but what's going to happen to the relationship with me and my daughter? Yeah, yeah. That is a heavy weight. Hmm. Thank you for joining us today for part one of She is Unrelenting by Refuge City Church. We pray that you have been encouraged and equipped in knowing who you are in Christ. If you are wanting to have a personal relationship with Jesus, pray this with me. Dear Jesus, I know that you love me. I ask you to forgive me of my sins. Please come into my heart to stay and help me to hear your voice and grow in you. In Jesus' name, amen. We would like to hear from you. Email us at sheispodcast at refugecity.church. Be, be sure to subscribe to this podcast to hear more from us every week. Thanks for tuning in. And remember, until next time, you are unrelenting. <laughs>